Hey friends, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be illustrating this landscape within a hot air balloon. Let's get started. So to begin, I'm going to head over to Google. By doing this, I'm going to swipe up from the bottom, holding the Chrome tab, dragging it to the right hand side of the screen. And then I've already loaded up, I've been on Unsplash, where you can access free images. And I've selected the image that I want to, that I want to use. I'm going to hold it with my finger until it pops out, drag it over to Procreate. There we go, we've got the image imported. So now I can slide this off to the right. Now I'm just going to resize this so it fills the screen. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go and reduce the opacity all the way down, just so I can draw on top of it. Now I'm selecting a hard brush. I'm going to just decrease the opacity on that. Selecting a color of your choice. And then I'm going to head over here to the settings, canvas, drawing guide, edit drawing guides, click on symmetry, and I'm going to leave that there. Now going back to our image, I'm going to just adjust this, bringing it so it's in the center. And now going back to our symmetry layer, I'm just going to draw around this hot air balloon, holding the pen on the screen so it snaps into a perfect curve. I'm going to edit the shape slightly. Just going to raise this at the bottom just to tidy up a little bit. Now for the bottom section. Keep it quite simple. Be a rectangle. You can be as precise or as loose as you want with this. I'm just going to draw some strings. Now we have our hot air balloon, I'm just going to get rid of this and now we can start drawing our landscape. So I'm going to start by creating a new layer, tapping on the layer and clicking on clip mask. So now this is where we can start. So on the original layer what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a lighter colour just so we can see what we're doing. Now going back to our clipping mask, I'm going to select a hard brush. And then I've created a colour palette already, um, so I'm going to start off with my darkest colour first. Just going to go in and draw it, making sure the shape is closed. Fill that in. So I'm going to go in and actually I'm going to create four first, and I'm going to go in one by one, just drawing in the landscape. there at a time, making the colours gradually lighter the further I'm going back. Now what I'm going to do is on all four of these layers, with two fingers I'm going to swipe to the right. What this does is, is it turns it into an apple lock. So now I can draw within that layer and it won't go out. So what I'm going to do is on the top layer I'm going to select the colour from the layer before. the next layer, just doing the bottom sections. and just slightly adjust the way it's there. So it's like... 
Now for the sky, head back to the bottom layer, add a new clipping mask so it's within the shape. Now I'm going to select a lighter colour and then I'll go from the top downwards. I'm just going to gradually I apply more pressure at the top and then less at the bottom. Now to finish this, I'm going to add a layer above this. Oops. Come back to my hard brush on the same colour and then just the size accordingly and then just tap. Now behind this layer, so making sure it's behind the, the circle, come back to the texture brush. And then I'm just going to gradually put a slight glow behind the sun, like so. Now I can remove our drawing guide. Now, so what we're going to do now is to create a slight drop shadow on the inside to make it look like the scene was behind. Create a new layer above all of these, uh, tapping a new layer. Tap on the layer and then click Clipping Mask. We're going to select a darkish colour. And then on the layer, we're going to turn the layer mode to multiply and reduce the opacity to about half-ish. And what we're going to do is zoom up. What we're going to do now is zoom out and then go around the outside of the outline, like so. And then going over to our adjustments, gorgeous blur, layer blur and then slide your stylus across the screen, like so. And now it looks like a slight drop shadow around the entire thing. And we can we can alter this slightly, I'm just go and adjust it, just so we've got a nice glow on the outside. simple scenery within the shape of your choice.